Why planes? Don't fly over the Pacific Ocean. Have you ever thought about why planes fly around the Pacific Ocean so slowly? On a plan, it might look like a straight shot, but pilots don't fly directly over this huge body of water for a number of interesting reasons. There's more to these routes than meets the eye. The weather can change quickly, emergency landings can be tricky, and the science behind bent flight paths is very interesting. Why do planes choose to go around the Pacific instead of going straight through it? The coasts of North America, South America, Asia, Australia, and Antarctica are all influenced by the Pacific Ocean, which is the greatest geographical feature in the globe. The average depth of this phenomenon is roughly 4,200 meters, 14,000 feet, and it encompasses more than 166 million square kilometers, more than 64 million square miles, of the surface of the Earth. Because of its enormous size and depth, the Pacific Ocean poses a number of obstacles that are not seen in other bodies of water. As a result, specific flight routes have been developed that frequently go around the circumference of the ocean. As a result of its vastness, the Pacific Ocean is a crucial factor in the formation of worldwide weather patterns, the ecosystems of marine environments, and the paths that international shipping routes take. There is a great variety of marine life, underwater mountain ranges, and volcanic islands that can be found in the ocean, which is not only the largest body of water on the globe, but also one of the most diverse bodies of water ever discovered. The vast magnitude of the region means that flights that traverse it can frequently take several hours, and in certain cases, non-stop flights can take longer than 11 to 12 hours. Because of the vastness of the area, it is necessary to have a substantial supply of fuel which can present significant logistical issues for various airlines and pilots. The obstacles that are present in trans-Pacific airports. Requirements for fuel. The enormous amount of gasoline that is required for trans-Pacific flights is one of the key reasons why airplanes avoid flying directly over the Pacific Ocean. To ensure that the airplane is able to arrive at its destination without incident, it is necessary to consume a substantial quantity of gasoline when flying over such a large body of water. When the duration of a flight is longer, the amount of fuel that is required increases, which can lead to a rise in the operational costs of airlines. With this in mind, airlines frequently choose routes that reduce the amount of time spent flying over the ocean, while also ensuring that sufficient fuel is available for the journey. The Turbulent Weather Weather As a result of the unpredictability of the weather over the Pacific Ocean, which is characterized by turbulent conditions and numerous thunderstorms happening in different sections of the ocean, the weather is known to be unpredictable. An aircraft may be exposed to a substantial risk if there is a possibility of experiencing severe weather. Aviation specialists from around the world underline that the majority of flights are planned to spend as little time as possible over huge bodies of water. This is due to the fact that storms are more likely to occur over water than they are over land. By taking this precaution, airlines are able to avoid turbulent situations and the safety of their passengers is ensured. Flight paths that are curved. When flying across the Pacific Ocean, one can find themselves wondering why planes do not take a direct route. The curvature of the Earth is where the answer can be found. Since the Earth is a sphere, Flat maps can be misleading since straight lines on a flat surface do not indicate the shortest distance between two places on a globe. This is because the Earth is a spherical. Concerns over safety in the event of an emergency. When it comes to aircraft, safety is of the utmost importance and the vastness and emptiness of the Pacific Ocean raises particular worries regarding emergency situations. Planes that are flying over the ocean confront substantial obstacles in the event that they experience a mechanical failure or any other unanticipated emergency while in flight. Landings during emergencies. Within the Pacific Ocean, there are just a handful of islands that have airfields that are adequate for emergency landings. It would be more difficult to conduct rescue operations in the event that an aircraft encountered a serious problem because there were no close landing choices. The conduct of a search and rescue operation in such a broad area would need a significant amount of resources and time, which would make it an unfavorable scenario for both pilots and airlines. The possibility of aircraft being lost. In the event that an airplane were to crash in the Pacific Ocean, the effort of locating the debris would be extremely difficult due to the ocean's size and its remote location. 
The difficulties that are involved with search and rescue operations in these large waters are brought to light by historical instances that include aircraft that have vanished due to their disappearance over the ocean. The actual application of curved routes, flights across the Pacific Ocean. When it comes to the planning of trans-Pacific flights, airlines typically choose routes that circumnavigate the Pacific Ocean rather than those that travel through the middle of the entire ocean. As an illustration, a flight that departs from Tokyo, Japan, and arrives in San Francisco, California, might initially go north toward Canada, before gradually winding its way down toward its final destination. This strategy not only helps to save fuel, but it also shortens the amount of time that the aircraft spends flying over the open ocean. Common flight routes and itineraries. The curved route approach is frequently utilized by airlines for a variety of international flights that will be traveling across the Pacific Ocean. For example, an aircraft that departs from Los Angeles and reaches Beijing will follow a path that passes through Canada or Alaska before continuing on to its ultimate destination in China. This strategy is utilized to guarantee the safety of passengers and to reduce the amount of gasoline that is consumed. Developments in Technological Sciences the ability of airlines to optimize flight paths while taking into consideration aspects such as weather, fuel efficiency, and safety has been increased as a result of advancements in aviation technology and software for flight planning operations. The most up-to-date navigation systems give pilots the ability to make dynamic adjustments to their routes, which gives them the flexibility they need to avoid potentially dangerous weather conditions and other potential obstructions along the way. The opinions of aviation professionals Professionals in the aviation industry emphasize the need of establishing flight routes that put passenger safety and operational efficiency at the forefront of their priorities. An expert in international aviation stated that the majority of flights are planned to minimize the amount of time spent over bodies of water. This is due to the fact that storms are more likely to occur over water than they are over land. With this understanding, airlines are able to operate more efficiently and approach trans-Pacific trips in a different manner. Safety routines and procedures. There are strong safety regulations in place for airlines, which provide pilots with guidance on the most effective methods for transporting themselves across the Pacific Ocean. The historical data, latest weather updates in real time, and comprehensive risk assessments that are used to inform these policies are all taken into consideration. It is imperative that pilots receive continuous training and direction in order to guarantee that they are adequately prepared to deal with the one-of-a-kind issues that come with flying over enormous quantities of water. The prospects for aviation in the Trans-Pacific region. Considering the ongoing development of aviation technology, it is possible that the methods of flying over the Pacific Ocean will undergo changes. It is possible that advancements in fuel efficiency, navigation technology, and weather forecasting may make it possible for airplanes to transport passengers across the Pacific Ocean with a higher level of confidence in terms of both safety and efficiency. In spite of this, the expanse of the Pacific Ocean and the inherent dangers that come with flying over it will continue to have a significant impact on the way in which airlines organize their itineraries for the foreseeable future. Enjoyed the journey? Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. Join us for more fascinating insights and explorations into the world of aviation and beyond.